One, two, three, there we go. And it's called Drumming from Around the World. So the past two months we've worked real hard, um, learning a few songs. Each class is going to do about two songs, and then another class is going to come up. So there's a little bit of space between each class, and we've you'll, you'll find that all the drumming, there's some similarities from drumming from Ghana all the way to Brazil, all the way to South America, all the way to America, there's similarities. And that's because drumming is universal. The first beat that we hear is our mother's heartbeat. And everyone around the world hears that same heartbeat. So why don't we dedicate this to Mother's Day? I think so. Happy Mother's Day and Grandmother's Day. Okay, our first song is called Pan Logo. It is from Ghana. And Pan Logo is a type of rhythm, but it's also a type of drum. And um, they used it around uh, celebrations and stuff like that. So let's do Pan Logo first. Children in Africa don't have it very good, and a lot of them are orphaned, 
and they've experienced having so-called hawks, and they need, they want to feel that protection. So this is a game that they made, and we actually played it in the class. So, and we're going to perform the song for you.
Lars, you did a pretty good job, class is going to perform for us. Our first song that we're going to do is Mountain Mayhem. Can you close that okay. And Mountain Mayhem, we have here an African xylophone. Now, depending on what part of Africa you're from, they call it different things. In this particular piece, they call it the Salimba, which is from the Lozi people in Zambia. And so Taylor Grasso is going to play it. It's similar to our xylophones, except the small box consists of gourds that are hanging below. Now these instruments are usually made just with twine. This one has little nails in it because it was shipped over from Africa. But um, it's authentic, it's, it's, uh, it was made in Africa, and you'll notice, Taylor, could you play it from this note all the way to the piano? You'll see that it's, it's pitched differently from our xylophones. So it's more of a percussion. Um, you can use it as a pitch instrument, but I like to use it as a percussion as well. So here we go with Mountain Mayhem. Thank <laughs> you. 
the keyboards. So to Taylor on the African xylophone. Okay, this piece was actually one of the hardest pieces for any of my groups to learn. It's called Mama Paquita. I would like the bongos up in front here. Mama Paquita is a Brazilian piece, and the Latin rhythms are just really difficult. There's a lot of syncopated rhythms, which means there's notes that fall on the upbeats instead of the downbeats. But I think this class mastered it pretty well. Mama Paquita means Mama I want. So let's do it.
something a little different. We're going to, to play a song, well, it's not a song, it's a musical piece, and it's, it's called Soundscapes. And soundscapes are really environmental sounds. If you ever got a massage or you went somewhere and you walked in a store and you just hear the nature sounds, that's what soundscapes are. So they use soundscapes all over the world for therapeutic reasons, for relaxation. Um, we're going to play some soundscapes. Our soundscapes, you might hear a little bead in there, but if you close your eyes at one point, you might hear wind, you might hear rain and thunder, you might hear birds, creatures in the jungle, all kinds of things. So let's now play soundscapes. documented different types of beats. There's all different types of Middle Eastern beats. Usually they play them in small groups with different types of drums. But we're going to tackle this one. We call it Are, Are You Ready Now? That's our own inventive name for it because it kind of fits in with the rhythm that we're playing. Each child will have a little solo. And we'll start with, uh-oh, what happened? <laughs> That's good, because I was just about to say each solo they will improvise and make up their own beats within their given amount of time. So here we go. Are you ready now? And I think we're ready now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Quietly exit the stage. Okay, our piece, Mrs. McNeely's class, is going to perform for you Rock It. Rock, like rock and roll, it. And we know that rock and roll is greatly influenced by African music, and you'll hear that in this piece we call Rock It. We also have a conversation going on between two instruments. So even though the people are not talking, they are communicating with their instruments. We do know that to be um, some of the ways people communicate around the world. In Africa, there's a lot of groups that have circle drumming, and that's how they socialize. We get together and eat. They get together and drum. Jack, Jake Zamita playing the Indian drum. And now we're going to do, I don't know if you've heard of this guy, Ricky Ricardo. Have you heard of him? Well, Desi Arnaz made Babalu famous back in the 1940s um, in Cuba. And then when the 1950s rolled around and they made the I Love Lucy show, then it became famous in America. So we are going to play our version of Babalu.
thank these wonderful fourth and fifth graders for such an excellent job. Well, these things wouldn't happen if I didn't have all the fourth and fifth grade teachers backing me to help me put them out of class and change their schedules around. Could we give them a round of applause, please? Also, our incredible principal, Mrs. Crandall, who highly supports music and arts, and all these things are also possible because of her. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of arts, Mrs. Mannanen did a really good job with all the kids creating all this artwork for our drum show. So if you get a chance, if you could look at it, there's some here and there's some in the hallway. She did an amazing job, and we really need to give a round of applause for, for our custodians. This stage is my teaching classroom, and right now, we, we just put on a drum show. They worked so hard, I walked in this morning, and it was just beautiful. Mike Miller, Shar Decker, Dylan, their, their helper, and not only in this building, my other schools, I've always had great support from the custodians with these extra programs. Please give them a round of applause, yes. And thank you also to East China Schools and Channel 6 for always supporting the music program. Thank you very much, and happy Mother's Day.